I train to support my rock climbing and extend my athletic career. It's interesting because don't all of us basically have our sport and then want to do it as long as we can. I try to hit all the major movements patterns, except usually pull-ups as I feel I'm doing so much already. That's, there's some wisdom there. So, so far I have avoided loaded carries. I read that you say loaded carries are a great exercise for hypertrophy. They actually be a great exercise for work capacity, uh, grip strength, posture. I mean, I guess hypertrophy because of the cascade, but I wouldn't say, you're not gonna see a lot of bodybuilders doing it. Uh, while I feel I can justify more size in the forearms, I'm scared to, I'm scared to add anything elsewhere, especially seeing most of the leading climbers for now, perhaps, are not doing much good general training, strength training anyway. At 180 pounds, I am on the larger side for your sport, and the mass I gained from my misguided high school benching days has never seemed to truly go away. Wes, you're a lucky man. A lot of people wish it would never go away. Are my concerns justified, or are they overruled by the other benefits? Do you have any insights or recommendations regarding loaded carries for rock climbers? Yeah, don't do them. Um, it's funny, we just they just introduced the whole thing by telling you how wonderful they are. But you're in a you're in a sport or hobby that is very specific, very selective, uh, and in fact, uh, by the year gets much better. Um, you know, I don't I don't see where loaded carries is going to do a lot of good for you. I mean, certainly they they'll have benefit, but you have to sit down and do your own cost to benefit. Um, it's going to be more work. And yeah, it might help your grip, but let's be honest, you guys do this on the, you know, you guys do this on the side of a mountain. Uh, your grip is probably fine. Um, the work you put into the weight room might not carry over uh, into the walls. So um, always remember now, <clears throat> I separate the world into two parts, active athletes, which you, Wes, you just said you were, and everybody else. Now, if you were to tell me you're everybody else, I'd say, yes, you want to do loaded carries, just so that when you guys come home from the grocery store, store, you don't have to embarrass yourself by only taking in one bag at a time. Or when someone says, help me move my couch, you don't have to embarrass yourself by going, I'm not strong enough to do it. That's everybody else. When you're in a sport, you got to be specific. And that is a hard lesson to learn. Uh, once you decide <clears throat> to maybe go in a different direction uh, long term, yeah, maybe loaded carries would be helpful for you. I have a couple rock climbing friends. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but when I was at Utah State in the 70s, it was one of the birthplaces for what we call the modern uh, rock climbing, especially free climbing. There was a group of guys, uh, we used to call them frog science majors, but outdoor rec guys, uh, natural resources guys, you know, wanted to be, uh, you know, uh, park rangers and stuff. And they took this very seriously, and they used to do pull-ups and the door jams in different ways. When you look at those guys long-term, part of their problem is they turn themselves into golems, you know, from uh, Schmeagel Gollum, you know, from Lord of the Rings. And that is going to be an issue, uh, maybe for you long-term, where you need to bring yourself back into better posture, just for general life purposes. Oh.